I don't want to diverge off of what Shaka. I know Shaka is in for and I, and uh, I, uh, at the end, at the end, at the end, when everybody finishes, come on, Shaka. Shaka, before you speak, let me just let you know I don't take YouTube comments seriously. All right? If I did, I'd be like, F this dude, you can't come on my channel. All right? Because nobody's friends. When you see people argue like this, me and Reggie could go down the block and eat Popeyes together. Not many people can do that. The YouTube is YouTube. All right? So I don't take it serious. But with me and Jabari, it is personal. And you should know that. It is personal. Hey, it is. It is. <laughs> it is, period. So, no, it, it, if and somebody, you're a straight up guy, you tell people the truth. Why shouldn't I tell you the truth? It's personal. You know, but don't, don't misrepresent. I'm not trying to be a Christian. I don't love Christ. None of that because I teach Abraham and Jacob don't exist. Which Christian would teach that? So, we got to be, we got to keep it real. What's going on with me and Jabari is just something. That's beyond YouTube, period. All right, all right. But anyway, come on, and I, and, I, and let's let's. I'm gonna put the clock on. You know what? I don't know if Monica wanna come on and do this because I can't really do that much talking. But um, you know, and I can't go back and forth and all that stuff. But um, go ahead, bro. Make your point, and let's let's get the bill going. Yeah, so that's it. When I say not eat it, then Isha can do book it. Now my account is my forever. Uh, I'll tap to all the Senu, uh, Senu on the panel, all the brothers on the panel. So, um, regarding uh, this uh, live stream, uh, I did not plan on going on it. I just happened to see that uh, Rocco was live, so I jumped in. And uh, I read that some people in the comments said that I ran, but if you look closely, I did say at one point that I was going to. Uh, you know, basically uh, leave because it was quite late. Uh, the live stream, when I left the live stream, it was 7 a.m. Okay. And as you have seen, last stream lasted for six hours. And I think I started uh, commenting in the chat one hour after the beginning of the live stream. So I spent quite a bit of time with my daughter sitting sleeping next to me. And everything that I said about Osa, that's regarding the two groupies that were in the chat, uh, I've said it for years, you know. So um, I was reading, like, you know, keep the same energy and stuff like that. There's nothing that I've said before that I cannot say uh, to Osaim Hotep. My purpose was not to argue with him. It was to deal and with, with the issue and to find out what his um, stance was. But then he started, you know, being condescended as he usually is, talking about your question and it's not logical because he is on his high horse. And uh, you have all heard him that he confirmed that he's been a fraud for many years because he claims to be a linguist. He doesn't have a degree in, in, in linguistics. So um, that's fraudulent. And um, regarding the 049 glyph, well, first of all, chem, for those who don't know, because some people think that we are neophytes, so they, they, they think they can just, you know, uh, dance with us, you know, but I happen to be familiar with the metal nature. So chem means black. That's the root of the word chemet, whether it's, it's translated the black or the black land or the um, land of the blacks. Chem stands for black. That's the main meaning. Chem can have other meaning meanings but it's the main meaning and once again as simple as that we have james p allen in his book middle egyptian he translates henenit the black i'm sorry um henenit came as henenit the black now regarding the 049 glyph which is the determinative the newt for uh in the world came and also in other words like waset um i have this book here it's an egyptologist called claude obzoma he's mentioned in the oxford history of ancient egypt and on page 237 he describes the 049 glyph as an inhabited place compound and streets okay so nothing to do with water whatsoever and then we have a, a gardener in his egyptian grammar i think it's the third revised edition page 498 he describes the glyph 049 as um, an ideal gram in newt and it's a uh, uh, sorry village with crossroads and i did say yesterday crossroads so now if people have other definition it's on them because what we have all heard yesterday is uh, Ujahu talked for three hours, and for three hours he claimed that he would demonstrate that Kem is a title, but in, after the three hours, he just couldn't demonstrate that, you see. And this is something I've been hearing for years. You know, Asa is very long-winded. He makes claims and he dismisses all the scholars in the world. So just like with Walter Williams claiming that the metal nature has not been ciphered, it means that all the Egyptologists in the world are wrong, but Walter Williams is right. And regarding this claim of Kemet meaning, meaning riparian land and Kem not meaning black, well, it means that Ujau and Asaim Hotep and plus 10 unknown scholars are right and all the hundreds of Egyptologists in the world are wrong. And really, brothers, if you want to make a fool of yourself, 
then you can go and say, oh, that's appealing to authority. The authorities are the experts. They did the study. Yesterday, Ujau said that the PhDs don't necessarily do the work. And I'm paraphrasing, but you can go back. It's on Smash Rockwell's YouTube account. And at one point he said the PhDs, what they do mainly is that they quote other scholars, you see. And I even read in the chat some people, and I think maybe it was one of the two groupies, that said that uh, some Egyptologists don't read the glyphs. And to me, it's laughable to have an Egyptologist that doesn't read the glyphs. So we will hear it, hear it all. But those people have studied, they have done the work, they are familiar with the language. Don't dismiss the expert just because some people came with something that sounds good. Years ago, the, the saying was, just because a bunch of folks say something, it doesn't make it right. Now it's more articulated into the appealing to authority or referring to authority. But that's not in void. That doesn't mean anything at all. It means that anybody that's in, that's in the street corner, that's in here drinking and smoking, you can just kick it, say whatever he wants. And when you quote some authority, when you quote some scholars, some specialists, some experts, the other person can say, oh, you're just appealing to authority. So if you want to make a fool out of yourself, brothers, go ahead. In the academic world, people will laugh at you. And I don't want my people to be laughed at. You understand what I'm saying? Well, can I can I talk again? Yes, your All turn, right. and then we'll go. Your turn, and then we'll go. All right. So I want to just bring up another article. Okay. So there are. I think someone's mic is. Can everybody mute their mic? Okay. So here's. The Okay. For the, oh, well, for the record, while Reggie is getting himself together on his article, there was about 10 or 12 times where Cam was translated as black, just for the record. Okay. I don't know why it's uh, repeating. Uh, is it just repeating for me? Is it repeating for other people? Do you have the YouTube up at the same time while you live? Okay, so let's just try this. Okay, so <laughs> I, I guess it was my fault. It was on low. So here it goes. Um, I'm going to pull up another article if I can. I want to pull up uh, Netter Neb's article. So let's just uh, see if I can pull that up and share. Uh, okay, because so I want to get to a first thing. I have established that uh, at the time of Winnis, he said that he is the side cam and he is uh, he is uh, side Kemet, right? He's born of the black sheep. He's a black ram or black bull born of the black sheep. This is when this identity comes into it. I've already established in my article that uh, you are supposed to provide for the cattle of God, that humans are the cattle of God. The king is the provider of that. It is his responsibility. So in Winnis, the, what the king did, he took on a black lineage, a black cow lineage. lineage. Now, a lot of the great African ancestrals that you call netters, uh, they identify with Kim. So I do think that the, the concept of identifying with the color of black, whether it's Enpu, whether in some cases it's Hathor, in some cases it's uh, 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 Hatchesap, in other cases it's uh, uh, Amos, Nefertari Amos, uh, in other cases it's Osar. Uh, we have um, identification with the color of black, that it is a sacred lineage, and that we do know that the kings or the royalty were the true representatives of the people. We do know that they followed their king as if, and their rulers, Hatshepsut, as a female, as if it was, if it's as if they were gods themselves or deified individuals. So uh, so we know Hatshepsut is, uh, she is the Satra, right? 
She's the daughter of Ra. We know the men are the Saras, right? We know that um, now we also have a lineage and we also have Keti now creating the place name that later Mental Hotep will cement. Why? Because of the sacred black bull, but it's really a lineage of the royalty, right? To unify Egypt. So I don't, I think there's more in the, uh, we don't have to, uh, there, there's more to say that it started with Schumann anthropomorphism, then later place name. Place name becomes later, but uh, identification with, uh, with, with, with animal, the, the pastoral husbandry, uh, uh, was more uh, more of what they believed. So now I'm just going to share some things from uh, Netter Neb, uh, uh, Netter Neb's article, if I could, if I could uh, find it. Uh, Peppy Kim. Uh, um, um, okay, so I'm going to have to let someone else. I don't know why it's not coming up. I'm going to have someone else talk while. Uh, while I, while I bring it up, okay? Just to say- Reggie, time. Reggie, yeah. can I ask you a quick question? This is Brother yeah. Garfield. Earlier yeah. you said the word Kim also was the name of a God. Did I hear you correctly? Correct. So wouldn't that be a title for Kim? Uh, 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 um, yes, uh, but okay. he is- he is somebody's fact- asking, somebody asked in the chat right here. He asks in the chat, the dude, it's on the it's, it's on the screen right now. Didn't really just prove Kim is a title in this case, Shaka. So let Shaka respond to that. Don't worry about it, Reggie. I got you. Go ahead, Shaka. Uh, I didn't um I didn't really get the you didn't hear what Reggie. I thought it was my turn. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's Wujao's turn. All right, get to Wujao and then you could respond. I'm gonna put the clock on five minutes. All right, go ahead, guys. Okay, so you know, just to kind of prevent myself getting caught up into a conversation that kind of goes all over the place. Um, I just want to reiterate uh, my question is that we're talking about what well, we were talking about. It seemed like people are want to talk about other things, but we were talking about the use of uh, Kim in three names, three individual names found in the tomb of Mier, um, of the tomb of uh, Pepe Yonk. All right. And my question again is how was the how did anyone who feels that the name that the word Kim is describing the person's looks and their appearance as being black? How did they come to that conclusion when we look in the tomb and none of these individuals are actually black in appearance? So that is that is a a logical contradiction and inconsistency that has to be addressed where you're looking at people that are not painted black but then on the other side of of a person's neck they're saying that kim is used to describe their appearance so if the egyptians intention was to call these people kim for their appearance then why didn't they make these people appear the appearance match what they called them when it comes to bulls and cattle and they want to describe the way a bull looks as black they paint them black if the intention was to describe how something looks so again i just want to leave my question there and not get all complicated and stuff like that because uh, shaka brought up the old 49 uh, he brought up some old uh i guess some some issues with the uh Newt symbol and some other stuff and reggie is going back to um uh pyramid text of of uh winnie's and so on and so forth and i don't want to just go all over the place in, in my part of this conversation i want to stick to um someone answering my question and again as a disclaimer i do understand that youtube is not the best place to really tease it out so i'm putting it on the floor and maybe one of you guys on your own time can actually you know do some work on it and then we can volley back and forth uh, that way. I think that would be uh, a great idea uh, to do it. But as far as YouTube, you know, anybody can 
can just uh chime in. But well, Ujo, wait, first of all, you did read my article, right? Yeah, and and, and you don't address my question. I mean, in, 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 in your article, I, I mean, you. I, I didn't. Because I wasn't writing a question. Hold on, hold on, Reggie. We got an order. Let's go in the order. Let, let, my, Shaka, let me just ask one question. It's my turn. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm almost done. I got, I got one more sentence. Oh, hold on, hold on. You ask a question, you know, and uh, Garfi said that, you know, I should answer. So, wow. You got two, you got two minutes. You got no, two more. Okay. But, but, no, but hold on. You ask a question. Garfi is telling me that I can go. So, I think I should. Hold on, go. hold on, Shaka. Shaka, hold on. He got two more minutes. Let him get his two more minutes. Man, I mean, yeah. I, how long will the question be? The question was like two, three minutes, and now it's going to be another two, three minute question, you know. Guys, no, 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 no. arguments by being long-winded. He, he stayed. He stayed on the same topic. Brother. Can I answer that question? There was one question asked. I don't answer ten questions in a go. You know, I, I answer no. one question. On I your turn. On your turn. Still, with, we still no, order, okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no. That's the way it goes. I'm a bounce. No, I'm a bounce. I'm a bounce. You guys want to talk for for five minutes straight, asking I don't know how many questions. You know, it's all good. You know, I leave it to it. You know, people want to get on my on, on my platform, get on my platform, and you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be fair. But you know, stuff like that don't make sense to me. You know, those are long -winded. I never seen people so long-winded in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I never met somebody so, so so sensitive in my right, life. So yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. if you want, you know, I agree. No, Garfield, you said that I should talk, and he changed your mind. You know, that's something. No, no, he said five minutes. He said five minutes. No, no, no. Before that, before that. The Five other minutes. brother wanted to speak, and Garfield, didn't you say, okay, Stop let's crying. check out what's wrong? It's not Stop his crying. turn, but I thought no. it was Stoopy's turn. Stop crying. It was my no, turn. No, it was no, my no, turn. No, 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 Reggie, Reggie, it's not your turn. It's not your turn, Reggie. It, wait, it was my turn, and then I stopped because I couldn't find an article, and then I I left. Uh, I mute Ujau. myself. I mute myself. All right, cool. I got you. Appreciate Ujau, that. Ujau, then um, Stoopy's, and then um, Shaka. All right, come on, let's go. Okay. Finish up, um, Ujau. You got two more minutes. Go ahead. All right, I don't need two more minutes. I just wanted to um, close my five minutes early by addressing Stu P's, uh, what he was saying about people. Um, so Stu P's, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the conversation, but um, there are only three individuals in this particular tomb that have the name uh, Kim attached to their names. So, um, so I, I just will clarify that for you if you were saying many people or. You were saying one as an as an um exception, but no, it's not one. It's it's actually three individuals, but it's many, many, many different variations of these people's names in this tomb. All right, really over like two hundred and some odd uh, variations, but only three have Kim in it. All right, just to clarify that, that's it. All right. So, so my question to you, would John, if Kim was attacking, and there is many, many variations, many, many people in the tomb. I think it had about 200 people in the tour. Why is it that only three had the title? Came? Is it a special title? Is there some connotation to that title? So there's 200 people and only three people have the name. Came. Why that's my question. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to answer it. I'll, I'll wait for my turn, my come around, but I, I wrote your question down and I'll get back to you because I, I don't want, I don't want Shaka to keep crying. Sorry. All right. Now, Wujau is on some punk stuff. He's all good. He got washed up. He's mad. So he wants to do hard hominems. He's all good. Everybody, the whole world heard it, you know. Now, the, the depictions of people of Kemet, they are clearly depicted as uh, black, you know. So for some people, it looks like black means jet black. But black doesn't necessarily mean jet black. There's all kind of skin tone and shades of uh, skin color. You have, you have dark brown. And I've demonstrated that for many years in many different museums in several countries. And now he's deflecting, going from chem, meaning black, as all the Egyptologists, the majority of the uh, Egyptologists say. Because some people feel like, oh, well, uh, doesn't he realize that if he agrees with something just because some experts say, it? I'm talking about the consensus. I'm talking about the majority of Egyptologists and Egyptologists are the experts of uh, ancient Egypt or Kemet as we call it. So that's the meaning. Now, if you want to ask, but why this, why that? He can ask James P. Allen. He can ask all the Egyptologists how they came to that conclusion. You know, that's simple, as simple as that. But he's not making that effort. He's just looking for an escape route. That's the meaning of the word. Guys cannot change the meaning of the words because it suits them.
Okay, so if I may, real quick, uh, Reggie, did you find something? Because I, I, I was going to address Stu P's uh, question to me real quick. If 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 you still, uh, you can address uh, it. I'll, I'll come back. Just to, um, okay. yeah. Okay, just real quick. So Stu P's, um, and I guess in me trying to be brief, I, I I'm probably confusing um everyone, so um I'll I'll try not to do that. So no, it's not 200 people in the tomb, uh, Stu P's. It's a tomb of uh six individuals uh mentioned what i was saying was there's 200 uh mentioning of their names this is out of six people there are 200 uh instances of their names being repeated 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 all over what's called the serdab of the tomb which is a narrow walkway uh, entrance to the tomb itself and on the walls, north, south, east, and west uh, side of the walls, there are hundreds of small statues carved of these individuals, of the tomb owners. And every time that you see the, the statue carved next to the statue, they have a variation of that particular person's name. All right. And out of 200 and some odd instances uh, or, or six people, there are three that have Kim attached to their name only on the south wall of the tomb. And I'm saying this because this is significant um, and, I, and, and people need to look into this. So I'm throwing things out there in hopes that somebody will actually take the question serious and do some work on it and, and not try to argue uh, towards a conclusion on the YouTube streets. So, so but I wanted to clarify your, your question, though, stupid. It's not 200 people. It's only six people in total, um, and three of those have Kim um, as part of their uh, name. And 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 to answer your question, your last question to me, uh, Kim in their names is used as an epitaph. So if you want to um, look up epitaph, E P I uh, T A P H, and just uh, go from there. I'm just trying to be brief. I don't want to go all over the place. I'm like, and I don't want to hog the mic, so people uh, keep crying. Uh, but all right, uh, uh, Reggie, um, hopefully that gave you enough time. Okay, so um, Ujao, peace. I just want to go back. Okay, so you said my 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 general article did not answer what because it wasn't. So what specifically didn't did it answer? Because I don't know if I was. I was uh, I was just trying to give context to Kim commit to you uh, um, and syncretism in that particular. Oh, yeah. yeah. What did, did what Kim commit and, and, and commit to you? What didn't it answer? So let's just. Uh, oh, well, my my specific question that I said earlier, like I, I know I know you, you you didn't write that paper to answer my my question that I just said. So that's what that's all I mean, that you're you, you wrote that paper. um in the context of addressing Kemet and and the previous conversations and, and arguments that were had, you mm -hmm. did not write that paper to address my specific question that I asked uh, not too long ago today. So that's okay, all. what is that question? So I can think about it. What is it? Okay, so um, out of the out of the tomb of uh, Pepe Yunk, there are mention of his father and 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 other okay. relatives, right? Um, three of those people have Kim in their name. And so my question is how for those who take the stance that the Kim in their name means black in the sense that is trying to describe the person's looks and appearance. My question is, how was that conclusion reached? And by what means was everything else eliminated and falsified for the other possibilities of the use of Kim in that name? Okay. When and then to add to that real quick, just just to give some more um, uh, easy work, and within the tomb, the people themselves, all of these people in the tomb, um, all depictions of these people in the tomb, none of them uh, appear or look black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how how, how is that co contradiction reconciled and things like okay. that? So you know along those lines. All right. So I'm gonna just answer that. I thought I tried to. Um, so the whole concept of Kim being identified with a king was in witness. So he is the he is the side Kim, and he is uh, Sit Kemet. He's uh, 
and so he is of the uh, black sheep. So this uh, concept, this title, will filter down, and I showed some other texts where it filters down to uh, uh, Teddy, and then it would uh, filter down to Pepe. So uh, as Egypt, as Kemet is, uh, uh, be, will be weakening with the uh, Pepe uh, leadership, the uh, the uh, the royal family now is taking on this concept of Kim to identify with the royal family, which is, which because there would be a new king chosen at some point, uh, and no one knows when uh, that these. Uh, uh, that that someone's going to be chosen. So they're identifying themselves in relationship to the black cattle, in relationship to a the true flesh of the royal king, right? So they're identifying themselves definitely to the to the sacred lineage of black cattle. So that is why Kim means black. Um and, and is related to the black cattle and it's related to the black lineage. So now I'm going to share my screen. And um, one of the things that we don't should not do is if you don't like a person, that's that's another that's that's one story. That's one issue. If you don't like a person. Um, but Nether Neb did go over a lot of these things. And so um, if you can um, get that, if you can. OK, great. Thank you. Okay, one of the things that uh, Netternep argues in his article uh, that's uh, free, it's an academia, is the idiosyncratic identification in Old uh, Kingdom Egypt. In Old Kingdom Egypt, the Egyptian identified themselves as black men. So this is uh, Netternep's paper. And here, one of the things that he does do is he is, um, he, he deals with, okay, those are the colors. Um, he deals with this thing of, um, uh, well, uh, he goes back to Diop, where Dr. Diop compares this term, Sid Kimenev, uh, it's a black woman, right? With uh, Wolof, the black wife like coal, right? So they do, he does some linguistics. But one of the things that is important is that he goes on, and he uh, he observes different concepts of using where people are calling themselves the black skin child. So um, it's up to Jowell to uh, as a net, meta nature uh, expert to disassociate that this particular uh, concept does not mean black skin, right? In this particular text, right? So that would be a chore that someone would have to do to, in fact, to say that um, black skin uh, is not, this is not black skin. And in this context, in, 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 in the pyramid text of Pepe, again, that, that uh, black skin is not being used, right? Or it's something else. So um, Netanet made the point. He showed the text, right? where uh, black skin is connected to shoe, right? And so we have to see if that means anything other than what it actually says based on the, the terminology, right? And so the, he goes on, he gives other examples and uh, certainly does, uh, he does a good job. Uh, he shows um, earlier rock, rock inscriptions of Sinai where Sabi is, uh, where Sabi, Sabi the Black, whether or not, whether or not that you uh, want to uh, separate and say, um, okay, I understand what Ujawa was saying, that, um, that they're not painted Black, but I did say to Ujawa, just to keep in mind, there's an argument, a legitimate argument that people and cows have or kin. So the people are basically painted in the colors of the cows, right? That's just how they um, they saw themselves as a kin with the sacred cow. So then there is one cow, which is the leader or the royal line, which is the black cow. Not all human beings would be painted 
uh, made sacred, right? Because they're not the what's sacred is the leadership, the the, the lineage, right? But we are all children of the black cow. So um, I think that since I'm not going to go on because just because of time, um, I think that in, I think Netta Neb's article on old Egyptian inscriptions, uh, I think he's done a really, really good job of identifying the relationship as a probable possibility that they was talking about skin. So in this particular text, um, um, in this form over here, which I will blow up, um, which I'll blow up here, where um, basically the translation of this uh, of this uh, text right here is basically saying the eldest son, his lover, the only friend, Nicosia, uh, who is dark skinned, the dark skinned and elder. So the question is, is uh, Natchez translation uh, uh, incorrect, right? Um, I will leave that up. Uh, I will leave that up to you. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and stop talking. I just want to let people know that um, there is an article that makes some of the points that should be either we don't argue with each other, we argue with uh, sources. But if someone is wrong in their translation, we retranslate it and we argue that. But we argue uh, sources. So I gave my point of view. Lineage is associated. The sacred lineage is the royal lineage. Uh, black is very important to the cattle cult, very important to ancient Egyptian understanding of uh, their sacred uh uh, identities akin with animals, and um, and these are ancient people. These are not modern people. So um, I'll stop for now, and, and thank you for your time. All right, Wajal, you next, Wajal, and then um, Stupies, you're gonna, you, you don't need to be here. Are you good? You good, Stupies? Uh, but I got, I got another troublemaker here, man. Smash I'm good. Up. I'm good. I'm good. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm good. Make it here, smash rock will. So, um, all right, so go ahead, right. Ujau, and then, um, I'll be um, quick Saka and then smash. All right, all right. I'll, I'll be very brief. So, um, Reggie, I, I listened to you tentatively, and, um, just to be clear, are you suggesting and vouching for, um, Netanyahu's article? That are you saying that Netanyahu's article uh, answers my question? Is that what you're is that what you're saying? Because if so, then I'll um I'll check it out. If you believe that his article answers my question that I asked you before you spoke. Uh can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. Um, um yes, I think that Netter Neb gives more examples than anyone on his article that uh Kim is associated uh with um, black, um, and and he talked and he shows the hair color. He shows the glyph with the actual black hair color, and he gives you actual text. Um, so Netanyahu did a good job in showing primaries. I did a, a great job in showing uh, primaries and giving a rationale. And I have a reviewed paper um, okay. that other scholars looked at, and so. It's like, wait, but, but, you know, you're not Walter Williams, Ujawa. I have a lot of respect for you, man. You, 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 we disagree, but we disagree as brothers. It gets a heat once in a while, but I just, but like, I don't have to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Professor Walter Williams will be addressed with royalty on this channel. I agree with him 100%. The mention never has not been deciphered. Y'all are faking it. I just want to say that for the record. <laughs> All right, keep on, keep on, keep on. Yeah, thank you. Uh, no, he um, he's at his winter of winters. He's done his scholarship, but Walter Williams has no primaries. Walter Williams doesn't know the language. 
Walter Williams um, is actually more European in his thinking. And he, he doesn't have any comparative Af African texts. He, he, he doesn't understand that Obenga and Diop and, and others have spent a lot of time comparing. Once we, once we understood that the metaneta was phonetic, then we got the sounds and then African scholars were saying, wow, these sounds are in our own languages. And then we can look at the historical connection between the people. But Walter Williams, we will always respect him. He's just incorrect. And we'll address that. Um, so, yes, Ujawa, I think that yeah. Netanyahu uh, gave more direct relationships with uh, the skin color, right, uh, than any other person who's written on the subject. And I, um, do you disagree with me with the cattle cult and Kemet uh, and, um, being the black, uh, the sacred black cattle or ram and that the King Winnis uses that as a, a, a titulary or title and that that is moved through Teti and Pepe and to Pepe's well, heirs? Do you disagree with me? Um, okay, before I answer that, very quickly, um, I, I'm not, I don't, I really, honestly, don't think that my question is is really clear or being understood. Because um, so, it, but if you feel that Netanyahu's article does answer my question, um, then I'll check it out, and then I'll, I'll, you know, um, we we never knew. Address, what what address, I'm saying is, address. we we hold didn't hold, have let me, let me your just, question. Let me just say, we didn't have yeah, your yeah. question in front, so we, so what we're saying, the work. We believe, but, I believe, answers to the question. Answers to your question. Okay, and so that's all. That's all I'm asking you is: is do you feel that 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 because you know I put my question on the table, and then you you mentioned his article and things like that. So I'm I'm assuming that you're saying that I can find my answers within the article, and I just want to be sure, and then I'll I'll, I'll have no problem checking it out and address it. But I but I actually honestly don't think that my question. Is being understood because my question is very, very, you know, narrow and specific. one more time. Just say the question one more time for That's, us, right? Okay. So I'm I'm not arguing that that there's a word Kim that means black or or that black is found in, in a plethora of text and things like that. I'm not I'm not arguing that whatsoever. I don't I don't need someone to show me a whole bunch of times that Kim is used. And it's being translated by multiple scholars as black. I don't need that. I've been there, done that, read the book. Um, my question is specifically about the um, the cemetery in Keys of Pepeyunk, where you have six um, individuals. I believe it's six or eight, possibly eight people, seven and possibly eight people that are mentioned within this tomb. And three of them have Kim attached to their name. And it's usually written as, you know, Nefer and F, which is their good name at that. So um, my question is because it's being claimed that the Kim in their name, it, it one, it means black. And then two, it means black because the people are trying to describe the appearance of the person. And so my question is, how was that conclusion reached? And what was the methodology and so on and so forth? I want to see that work that was done. And I, I again, as a disclaimer, I know that YouTube is not the best place to tease that out. So what I would like to see is someone put pen to pad or fingers to keyboard and actually do some work on it that I can look at. And I want to see how that conclusion was reached so I can determine if other possibilities were ruled out. Now, from what I do know of um, your article and Netanyahu's article, uh, in regards to my specific question, um, what at least what in Netanyahu's article, he was identifying Kim as people belonging to a cattle cult and not trying to describe how these people look. So if you're if you're presenting his article as an answer to my question, then I don't think his article actually answers my question, just from my recollection. But I'll, like I said, I'll revisit it specifically on this topic and and um and that's that so that's all 
and and, and I, I'll mute my mic before Shaka start crying again because he's doing hand signals up. Just for the record, we have um, um, Amir Kamara. He changed his name in Gozi, who said that the people came at D call themselves black. So the more, the more it goes, the more the discussion goes, and the more we realize that we have the majority of the experts and the specialists, and then we have like like two people and three groupies who feel like he doesn't mean black. Okay, just just real quick, I want to respond to that. Um, mm. Oh, let me my because smash is here. Let me. Nah, that's all good. How y'all doing with that? Can y'all hear me? Hold on, hold on, Jowl. Is Shaka? Are you finished, Shaka? Peace, smash. Yes, I finished. I muted myself. Can y'all hear me? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Go yeah, ahead. Go yeah. ahead, smash. Smash. You. You up, bro? Y'all do hear me? Because I can't see the green microphone thing going up and down. We hear you loud and clear. Oh, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's well. Uh, I can't coming in at the end of this conversation. Pretty sure y'all touched on a lot of things, but what I did come in on was the good brother Reggie putting forth our other good brother Netta Neb's work on the subject. Uh, I do think that was good work he did on the subject. I think it was a document he wrote in 2019 that contained a lot of the stuff that I brought forth uh, yesterday. And so, yeah, uh, Ujahu asked the question how do we arrive at that conclusion? But again, when the majority of scholars who address the subject, and, I'm, and, and then we can we can let people have their appeal to authority conversation if they want to, but when the majority of scholars come to a consensus on something in particular, and then you have a body of individuals who are familiar with the language, who are familiar with the grammar, and understand how adjectives work, particularly in this instances, in this instance, and we were given other instances which corroborate the same thing. The I think the burden is on the person who's saying it doesn't mean what the consensus is. And all of these books we look at, all of the European scholars simply translated as the black. And so last night it came to a point where someone wanted to know what it, the black mean as if we don't know what black means but that does start a different discussion once one concedes that it is referencing color and so since some have not done that yet i can bring forth other attestations that have just put the nail in the coffin to let us know that indeed they were referencing color because we all like to talk, you know, accuse each other of microwaving the information when actually we haven't looked over the information thoroughly ourselves. And speaking about the five, eight brothers that you mentioned, it was not really eight, but they're not the only ones who ever held the title. I know Brother Reggie brought that out twice in the document. We know this. They're not, and so it's not, it's kind of, it's rather inconsistent. You know what I'm saying? Saying that these people were some, uh, it was six people who were a title other than what we have it defined as ourselves. And then we have another brother found in the Scion, again, calling himself the black with the man determinative in that instance. And so my whole argument had never, I never brought up skin color. I never showed that because we had steps to go through in the argument. First seen is the translation right, which all scholars concluded is, it means the black. We could pull that up various times. But if, if we could come to the point that it is color, then I don't understand because people ask me, what does black mean? You feel what I'm right, saying? So, it's like you're uh, asking what, like in, in Arabic, Aswad, how did you come to the conclusion that Aswad means black? And that's the main word for black. In French, noir is the main word for black. It's like asking how did French people come up to the conclusion that the word noir means black? I mean, you know, to each his Exactly. Own. So we, if we can conclude that Kim means black, now we got to prove what black means. And so some of the instances, Brother Ujahu, just before I let you turn it over, I just want to state that. Peppy, Neon, or Peppy, or Happy. Peppy Neon being the father, I think Happy being one of the younger sons. He actually had a brother. 
You know his brother's name? It was the same as his, except he was the red. Did you, do we know this? Peppy Neonk had a brother who was the red. One of them was the black. The other was the red. So concerning color, we got a checkmate here. Concern, specifically. And we even, I, a matter of fact, let me share the screen just real quick so we can put, put this one to rest. Because we argued a, a long time about it. First, do is it the color? What do black mean? All of the stuff. But now we got it isolated that they're definitely referencing the color when they're talking about Kim in this instance. And we can go through Pep, uh, Peppy the, the Elder, which they put Elder in the same position. And then they have the middle. And then they have the youngest one. And then they have the black and the red. So now that we have, oh, but, but instead of just because we like to talk a lot and say, uh, people can show you stuff, do all of that. But just give me just one second. If, oh, you know what? I think I can possibly share this uh, without, uh, if you don't mind. And so the conversation in the meanwhile, we can say the conversation about uh, whether it's a color or not should be put to rest as we find uh, the distinction being made, not by us using these colors, but by them. And then we can read the source work on it that seems to corroborate uh, my stance. And so if just one slight second, I'm trying to pull up a photograph. I snipped it for us. Oh, uh, this moment, uh, this morning, uh, since I got so much stuff in here, I'll turn over the floor as I pull up the source. Yep. Y'all can get simple. Y'all can catch that. We can hear you. All right, so hear your conversation, Uncle. Y'all can really hear me. Raggedy stream, y'all. All that money y'all got, we on stream, y'all. I give up, man. It's on purpose. Go so, on, uh, Uncle. Okay. So just real quick, um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a little more convinced that my question is mis is not being understood and and you know I'm, i may start believing that it's purposely misunderstood um so again the word kim being translated as black as i said when my first comment on on smash's show yesterday on the in the chat i have no problem with people translating kim as black so i want to repeat that and make it loud and clear for the people in the back the people on the short bus kim uh, I, I will accept Kim as being translated as black. I will accept Desher as being translated as red and Wajad as green and so on and so forth. No problem there. Specifically, when black is used, when we translate Kim as black, my question specifically is asking, like, for example, in Shaka Ndugu Kimmet's image right now on his, live, on his stream, behind him as his green screen, he has an image of a figure. Now, the hair of that figure behind him is actually the color black. The face of that individual behind him is not the color black. So my question is, if black is, is intended to be used to describe the person, the person's appearance, then um, Introducing a, a, a individual who's called the red and contrast that with an individual who's called the black. When you show the images of these people, are we going to see black skinned painted people mm -hmm. or person versus a red skinned painted person? If That's you dealing, making that conjecture. Yes. You just showed that wouldn't be the case in the case of Ptolemy either. Well, Come well, on, well. what? You know, Ptolemy, to Ptolemy ain't dark as he's drawn because it was a standard for drawing just for men in that instance. So, but they made the distinction grammatically. Well, we I'm asking a question. I'm not, I'm not I'm, but I'm not making a, a conjecture when someone asks a question. I'm not sure how you jumped in on that. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just reiterating my question because showing all this stuff um, is not answering my question and it's getting frustrating and I, I I can enjoy the conversation, but I don't want y'all to 
to to believe i'm not gonna allow you all to believe you all are actually answering my question if you're not if you are then hey we can we can we can progress forward but if i feel that you're not answering my question i'm gonna say so and so my question is not whether or not kim in his name can be translated as the black so nobody so i'm not one of those people that are arguing uh that we got to define black and stuff like that it's it's the usage of it is it intended to talk about the person's appearance yesterday you all were saying yes to that it is trying to describe the appearance of the of the person okay and my mm -hmm. but, but when we pull up the person's appearance his actual appearance he is not black so i i so you messing I'm that asking, up royally how am I? I got the picture on my screen. I know, but you're still messing up by your thought logic. Let me give you okay. an example. If you go to the straight, tomb of can I give you an straight example forward. using uh, sources? I, I, hold up, I, I'm, I want to ask you a question just so I can, so I can. So uh, you want to? Uh, let me thought. give you an example about that before you ask the question and push us on. No, to it's, the on, next it's thing. on. No, no, I'm not. I'm not going to the next thing. I'm right here. In the in, let me ask you. Uh, are the people in my picture? Uh, painted black okay and so if we go to the tomb of hoy what oh, we're going to wow. see is in the tomb of hoy hoy is represented as a standard eyes egyptian just like the this is my answer ujahu hoy is represented as a standard eyes my, egyptian. my picture is not hoy though i just i, just I know i'm talking giving you an answer listen when you go to the tomb of Hoy, Hoy is represented like a standardized Egyptian, just like in the photograph of the tomb Uja'u was showing here. However, when you go to Tadak Amun's tomb and see a representation of Hoy, he's represented like a black Nubian. Okay, do you understand that? And do you see how that could open up a perspective here? That first of all, an Egyptianized representation of a person is almost unilateral when it comes to that red tone right there. But again, I'm giving you an instance where one person depicted in one way in a tomb using the red hue in, in his Egyptian eye in his own tomb, has he seen himself as an Egyptian? He used the, the brown who, but when Tadak Amin wanted him represented. He used the black Nubian hue. And that was my answer to the question, whether you feel like your question was answered or not. No, um, I appreciate what you said, but it didn't. You know, you responded, but you didn't answer. Uh, my question is about this tomb the picture I have here. I asked you specifically, are these people in my picture that I'm showing, are they painted black? And I just you, you didn't say painting, you said are they black? But here's the question. No, no, I, I, I just answered it by black. my uh, with my answer. I told you that I told you exactly what I told you. They could exactly be depicting people of lighter hue, like you pointed out with uh my man Ptolemy, or they could be depicting with lighter people with darker hue, like I just pointed out in the tomb of war. So, so I'm not there, really, I'm not the one on the black, black, black. That's y'all keep being on that. No, but, uh, but I mean, listen, like I said, I, I appreciate what you were, what you're saying and, and everything you said, I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm definitely familiar with, but again, when somebody doesn't answer my question, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. So you no, what question. you said oh, about oh, everybody oh, who Reggie, responded oh, to Reggie, you. Hold on, Reggie. Hold on, Reggie. Wait, wait, just oh, not, Reggie. wait, wait, I've been, wait, I've been. I'm being I'm first I'm on the oh oh my god god killer I'm gonna kill that right don't mention god god killer hey listen I, I've been waiting Man, if you, you want to go so you saying you've been on the panel with them you haven't talked yet no that's I it. haven't finished I haven't uh we oh, were having a, a panel conversation no I, I know but you yet. haven't talked yet though because I'm trying to get in if you talk already let me get in I'm not gonna go no wrong. no it's not it's it's not I will let you get in but you gotta have some respect for the people who've actually been working on the channel before you just just before you just no, decide no, to jump no, on. no 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 I don't we can just go in turn I don't gotta have no respect for that I never okay so what's okay no right. problem no right, problem. So, my, my so whose is, turn is it? I'm speaking. I'm I, I'm speaking to the, to the moderator. That, to whose turn is I it? ain't talking to the moderator. I'm talking right now, Reggie. Oh, you oh, like, yo, Bobby you like Vega, Bobby Bully. 
but you act like you think I'm a Meta Scout. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, saying. I'm like, I'm like everybody in the audience, yo. So sometimes let a nigga in the audience speak for some real clarity. Yeah, My point is, hold on, Reggie, 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 Reggie. Wuja, you made a point last night. This was your point. When Smash talked about the color black, you say, no, that was like some type of office or some type of uh, 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 guild or something. Do you remember that, Wuja? Oh, sorry, you can't hear me. I was muted. Uh, you remember that, Reggie? Yeah. When he used the word black for that for, for particular guy, I'm, talk, I'm talking to you, Uja. You said, no, the black wasn't denoting the way he looked through his skin. It was denoting that that, that was his business or, or that was like an organization he was in. You remember that? Yes, my stance is that the black using his name is not trying to describe his, his appearance. Yes, I made that very clear last night. It's describing what, though? It's described, it's used as an epitaph. And describing what? Come on, yo, work with me. Yeah, epitaph is like an honor, uh, an honorary uh, title or honorary uh, position uh, okay. in connection to something else. Okay, so bet. So what the hell do the red stand for with his brother? It's it's also not dealing with his appearance. I know it's dealing with what though. It's dealing Same with a sim say, right? it's a similar it's a similar thing, right? And and, so and then, to contrast so red from black is usually to make a distinction between uh some type of relationship to, to an honorific uh, epitaph. Yes. I think we lost Aunt. So uh, I'll mute myself again. I just wanted to answer. I think Uncle's just asking me those questions. But uh just real quick before I mute out again, um I just want to be very clear and I'm I'm I feel like I'm gonna repeat myself uh, over and over again. Once again, that I just want I just want to get to some kind of agreement that these people in my picture and the person behind Shaka and Dugu Kimmitz, uh, um, uh green screen is the skin color is not black. If 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 we can come to that's the, irrelevant. The no if, one's if, tripping if, off I mean, that feel, argument. You losing, you feel, bro. But let's keep it popping. I mean, you yeah, saying you losing doesn't mean I'm losing, here. though. You saying you I'm looking, looking sad. sad. You was looking make, sad make last night. You still are. But let me continue and put the okay, final but, nail in the coffin. But, Come on. But let me thing. get the screen share popping. Okay, you but just, the you thing. just going to talk and fill the bus. I bet you he's been talking the most out of everybody this whole string. And How much you want to bet on that? trying to do that. Bet your house on that. I bet you that's a buck. I bet you. Bet your house on that. I bet you that's a buck. And then then we'll play the video back. Bet your house on that. I bet you that's a buck. You've probably been right. talking the most the whole street. Here now, we now go. You said probably. There was now also probably. another Hold son up. called Neon Peppy with the good name, Happy <laughs> the Red. Okay? The modern me. Egyptians employ similar attributes to distinguish two relatives or companions of the same name. Thus, of two Mohammedans, one may be known as El, El Abiyad, the white, and the other as El Azrak, the dark. So it is to distinguish, is they using colors to distinguish between two, whether or not they're darker or lighter, they're using these colors to distinguish between the two. Last night, it wasn't even colors. I just Remember? want to say that what you're sharing is very, very small. If you intend for people to read it, you're not you're not sharing oh, your oh, whole Oh, no, Garfield got to make it bigger. I put it as big you know. as it could be. And also to let you know that what you just said actually supports my argument. No, and, you and think it, it does, it, but it necessarily doesn't. It, it absolutely doesn't. does. You, your argument does. was that it wasn't a color, that it was no, a that, that, wasn't, that it was a guild. No, that wasn't that wasn't my argument. And again, like I don't know what's wrong with you, what you but your comprehension uh yesterday or today. That wasn't your argument. Everyone knows that's listen, what your argument was. I said, was. listen, in your chat, you can look at my comments in your chat on your I show. I didn't read my chat, I dialogue. Okay, I you. okay, I can tell you didn't. Now read he's it saying because... his argument wasn't that it wasn't a color and wait, it was wait. a you. Okay, hey, listen, I, I, no, I said you can said I get said back it. on my point. Can I get back on my point? Yeah, get back get, on your point. Get back on my point. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no, Wuja, I came back in. Let me get back oh, on my point, God. bro. Come on, right. yo. You can't say that. Just let That's me get back on my point. Relax. You cannot dominate the conversation like Reggie said. 
we all trying to do this. We, as a matter of fact, I'm I thinking, must have been right. Then. Yeah, yeah, he was yep. dominating. Hey, yep. um, so listen, um, hold on. Um, um, it's Garfield. Hold on one second. Um, smash, smash. Hey, you ain't got your house on that, though. Hold on, hold on, smash. You're not sharing. Oh, you got property, bro? I got shit to bet. What you want to do? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I got land, too. Hold on. I got acres. Yeah, I got acres. Yeah, I got You're acres. Property? Property? Yeah, I put acres. No, I'm not going to put up. no property, but I put a few deed. acres on it. I, I want to see the deed, though. Don't play me. Play I'll show you the deed right now. Don't get to talk to Slick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Smash. You weren't sharing totally to everybody. You only shared on your screen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, how do I do? Okay. That's all I was trying to say. Go ahead, go ahead, Bobby. All right, all right. So here we go. So, 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 so check. Hey, Reggie, I'm on your side, nigga. Let me set up the goddamn prop, yo. Let me set mm -hmm. it up. I'm on your side, Reggie, because Reggie also made a great point about the fucking black bull and the word they use denoting fucking color on an animal. A human is an animal. Last time I checked, but 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 Reggie, we we got him, Reggie. Watch this. So. I need right now a source that identify the red guild and the black guild then. Because we just want to figure this out. This ain't mm -hmm. hard. If you're mm -hmm. actually saying that, then it has to be something we can find to say that. You can't just throw it out there because it's more likely that human beings give birth to, to, to brothers and sisters, Joe. And a lot of times, one might be a little bit darker and lighter. So that is starting to make more sense to go in the other direction. So, Wujai, we need a source to show this red guild and this black guild, brother. And we needed to acknowledge that it was a color because last night it wasn't a color. Now all of a sudden it was a color. Huh? All that arguing, now it was a color. But they was telling me to tell them what black actually meant. Yeah, we know it. We know what it means, yo. Yeah, it took three hours yesterday. I could I say something real quick? Now the picture, the image is from the Louvre Museum, Paris, France, and that's Amen Hotel the Third. That's Akhenaten's father. That's uh, Tutankhamun or King Tut's grandfather. And uh, we have some new uh, pseudo technique now with some new smoke screen for, from people who take three minutes to ask a question. Uh, it's as if we don't have black people whose skin tone is lighter than their hair. Now, apparently, when you are black, your skin tone has to be the same as your hair. That's something new. I understand why both sides can't can't actually be right. Smash is saying that there are people that but one side hurt. wrong and they always wrong when they come against the magi. Y'all will never prevail no arguments against me. The other day talking about I never lose an argument. Man, you be you, you stay getting scraped by the magi. <laughs> well, hold on. Wuja's point is that that there, there wasn't a whole nation calling themselves black, like the black people. Okay, I agree to that. That's, that's not that's not what that's the saying. We call yeah, that a on. straw man argument. I know. Let me make he, up. I'm trying to show you. straw mans. He started talking about Kim. It we was talking about Kim. You no, no, listen. Word? No, no. Watch this. I'm trying to say that both y'all can be right. He's just wrong on this point that there were people in that area that looked at each other, looked and, and considered and called themselves black the same way we do it now. That ain't nothing big on that. You just this realize you dogs and everybody on the screen. Right, There's a ahead, whole nother source on the screen. Go ahead, smash. I just think both things can be possible. That's I my point. To cut your wisdom. Nah, but go ahead. I just I'm think just you're right on this point. Go ahead. The sun also bears the name Sebet Hotep and and Happy, though distinguished by the frequent use of the suffix Kim, the black. This is a whole nother source. Let me minimize it. This is just. Another document on the topic, the tomb of Pepe Ankh. Ain't no Henny Kim. Ain't nobody taking this Henny Kim and saying, no, that's just a, his job at the end. They pronouncing it in his name. It's only, and notice how cats don't got sources. Cats be trying to do other shit, yo. Trying to get, and everybody in your clique paid you. Ain't nobody paid to be down with the Magi. Everybody who called himself Sheshu broke bread. So let's keep it a buck. Shit. Magi archers. Yeah, I mean, you know, like like we you got a bunch of mockingbird followers around here. And and you know, around here we all stand up. Now who Name got one nigga who called himself Sheshu who ain't gave Ujahu money. Smash, yeah, hold on, smash. Yeah, we, we got nothing. 
Reggie, your turn, then Shaka, and then Wajabu. Go ahead. Okay. So we have please bring that up, Reggie. Please talk about your paper you wrote, please, bro, because it, it, it speaks to that. Please. I, I, um, yeah, I did in the beginning, and um, but people want to. No, no, but you proved the point, though. You see, you see how I linked it together for you. Yeah. Bull is the uh, animal. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, the, the the here's the thing: is these ancient people uh, identified themselves with their cattle. They were akin with the cattle, right? And they created God concepts, deity concepts, supernatural concepts based on other animals, but the cattle was the, um, one of the important. For the ancient people of Tawi that became Kemet, that became yeah, Egypt and all that, uh, the black bull, the black cattle was supreme from the, uh, from the ancient time to not. They identified with that. So they identified as a people under that. It doesn't have to be that you color yourself black because people come in different, uh, different based on uh, science, based on the Sun Belt, based on everything that Anka ever said about, uh, so just because you, but, but to make all people uh, to, to identify as the color black at all times would not be, would not be right because it's evil as black people even in ancient times. So that wasn't the point. The point was how they identified with the colors of the animal. Ultimately, Kim became a god, right? And, and people don't know that. Um, and, and so they are identifying all major gods of ancient Egypt. They appear in different colors, like Kim wear, right? But ultimately, um, they are black. The people recognize themselves in Africa uh based on how they saw each other black is a social term that we use and we're using it incorrectly and we're using it today incorrectly the fact of the matter is that they were african people recognizing that they were african people and recognizing what they call what they identify as a uh sacred uh lineage right so if you listen to uncle you listen to anybody if you're dealing with Black and stuff like that. These are social constructs that we should not, uh, we really should not deal with. But the fact is, is that they, we know the color of them. You ain't got to imagine. These are not, uh, these are not people that we don't know. You know the color of them. And so why act like Petri and other people and disassociate these people who we know what their color was? We know their hair color. We know their style, right? We know their culture. And yet we are still going to play little games about, uh, you know, just because you, you, I can't, I can't see why, and I'm not just, I'm not disrespecting Ujao's argument per se, but I'm just saying that it's not, all questions don't have to be answered. It's like Walter Williams question. Prove to me that the meta nature was deciphered. What is your methodology? The, the question always goes back to what, what, what we do as scholars. What is your methodology to, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, to, um, to prove one thing against another thing? What is your methodology? So if, if, uh, if you follow what we've been talking about, we use archaeology. We use textual sources. We use relationships of, of people in their cattle, culture, right? Um, and we used what other people have identified, other scholars. So then when you do that, then the question is, what, if you disagree now, what is your, not your question, what is your methodology for proving your point? That is, and I'll stop. And and we got this is a great platform, a lot of great ideas. You got uh, uh, Smash Rockwell here, my brother, Unc West, my brother. Everybody is my brother and sister on this flat. But the fact of the matter is, what is your methodology to prove one thing against another, right? Given that these are ancient people, what is your methodology? If you don't have a methodology, if you don't have any writing. So can can I can I speak briefly? 
All right, Shaka, you go, and then um, yeah. Ujara, thank, right? you. thank you. Now, um, is it is it okay if if I go or will people say that I'm running? <laughs> because I've been there, and you know. Shaka, what it is. You, that's YouTube oh, talk. No, that's we call that that when somebody no, says you know, something just, real quick I'm and just asking, tap out. You know, real quick. I'm just saying, you know, because people, you know, when they're defeated, they don't have other stuff to say. But I just want to say, you know, it's only so long fake ones can pretend. We have people who've been pseudo for years and they label other people pseudos. But once again, brothers and sisters, you know, the account is my art forever. Look at the video, Kemet and Art, you will learn real history. And then if you want to, you know, deal with the people who uh talk about, you know, uh I don't I don't appeal to authority then you know do your thing by all means you know to each his own you know so thank you for having me and uh, maybe we'll be another another time all right all right thanks for coming on bro peace and love yeah, thank you thank you for having me where you going there Shaq Ujau up you up Ujau now for the record for those who don't know okay so I'm giving middle nature classes and here that's the flyer Okay, so those who are interested, feel free to holler at me. If you're not interested, it's cool. But I recommend everybody, I recommend that everybody who has not yet seen the video Kemet and Ma'at before Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, then watch it. It has about 300,000 views and really deserves to have a lot more. Um, I just want to let everyone know who's gonna, who's, who's gonna, uh, who's listening now and who to listen to this uh this uh stream in the future i just had a my first meta Netcha class by brother shaka today and i've had other uh meta Netcha lessons by other teachers and i can tell you right now the brother is the best in the game he is uh that, that was one of the best classes I've ever had, ever. So if you're interested in learning the meta nature, if you're interested in getting the basics of it, Brother Shaka is an awesome teacher. Get with him, and it's extremely affordable. This brother is giving us his time and his skills, and he's basically giving it away. I mean, I, you know, I just consider it a donation. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody is interested in learning the meta nature, get with this brother right here. He's an awesome, awesome, awesome teacher. And I'll end with that. Hotep Senu, Hena Senut. This is Julie, also known as Servant of Yah. And I'm currently taking the Medu Netra classes with Brother Shaka. And it has been an amazing experience. Only two lessons so far, and I feel like um, I've been taking the classes for months. Just with the... Uh, how in-depth he goes into the vocabulary words, um, the construction of the language, the grammar. Um, it's been immeasurable, um, the experience. And one thing that comes across, hands down, is his uh, extreme passion for teaching this to anyone who is willing to learn and has a, a, an interest in learning. So I highly suggest, um, if you are interested, even a minimal interest, that uh, you subscribe to the classes with Brother Shaka. Um, it's such a nominal amount for how much you get. Uh, I know like our last class was uh, over two and a half hours. It felt like two minutes, but because that's how you know involved you are in what he's teaching and how he teaches and how compassionate he is about what he teaches. Um, also with sharing materials free of charge, uh, no question, no doubt. Um, it's just what he does. He doesn't have to, but he does. And so I just wanted to give a short testimonial um, about the class and the effectiveness of the class. And uh, all of that is attested to uh, how studied Brother Shaka is. Uh, so I highly recommend anyone with a minimal interest that you do sign up for the Medunetia class, Hotep. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which is Ma'at Forever. Don't forget to watch the video entitled Kemet and Ma'at. Don't forget to share Kemet and Ma'at on my channel. 
on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or other social media that you use. Email, text messages, you name it. Those who wish to donate can do so on paypal.me slash maat forever.